flowers be drawing flowers. I should say first, happy summer! We are so lucky to live in a place that is warm right now and where there are so many beautiful flowers growing in people's gardens, on the trees, even wildflowers that grow on the side of the road. So the first thing you're gonna need to do for this project is find some flowers. I'm lucky to have a mom that likes to garden so these are the flowers that I'm going to be working on drawing today. You will also need some crayons, as many colors as you can find, and some paper to draw on. Um, we'll be introducing some more supplies and materials into this activity as we go, but we're just going to start with crayons. So you're gonna begin by just adding in blocks of the color that you see and the direction that you see it going for each of the flowers that you're looking at. You might notice that when you look at old drawings or sometimes some new you might notice that when you look at some paintings of flowers, if you squint at them, or if you squint your eyes like this, at these flowers, that it just kind of looks like blobs of color. And that's how we want to draw it. There's lots of little leaves here popping out. I have these beautiful orange flowers. And if I want to, I can be a little more detailed and add some petals but if I get a little impatient of that I can also just make swirls oops I might break a crayon if I get a little too excited adding in chunks of color so that when I squint at my flowers and I squint at my paper that maybe they look a little bit alike but I think I still have some work to do to get there I think I need to add more green. I have this nice dark green. Maybe I'm gonna add some yellow in. When I squint at these orange flowers, I see that maybe they have a little bit of yellow in them, but also they have some dark orange. I'm just gonna keep adding the colors on and trying to get down some of the shapes that I see not really worrying if they overlap with the other shapes. I just want to show this flower bouquet as a collection of colors and shapes together. And flowers bring lots of joy into the world. Some people don't get to look at flowers, so Oops. You can send your flower drawing to someone who you might want to send flowers to, but maybe they're too far away. Or you could give it to someone who lives in your house. I'm going to give my drawings to my mom who grew these flowers. And I'm just going to keep adding on. Oops. until I feel like, yeah, I think I got them all. I think I got all of the blobs of color and shapes that I see in this bouquet. I think I'm going to try to draw the vase a little bit, but or the pot that they're in. There's my first flower drawing.
Now we are going to try drawing our flowers with crayons and then adding watercolor afterwards. So I'm going to stick with these flowers that I've been working with. And I'm going to start the same way I did before by just making little blobs of color. some blue watercolor paint that I'm going to add, thinking about all the leaves that are in this bunch of flowers, and I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, I have some yellow watercolor paint right here, and I'm going to add that into the blue. the leaves. And then I think I'm gonna go for some red. Mix it with the yellow a little bit. And I'll plop it around as I see it. And it can be really nice to just get the brush strokes. I'm gonna mix the blue a little bit. Blue and red make purple. Just really let the brush strokes show through. And again, it doesn't have to look so much like flowers. It can be little blocks of color. kind of more painting from my imagination than I am from the flowers, but I started with the flowers. Hey everyone! For the next part of our flower painting, drawing, and collage project, we will be looking at the work of painter Alma Thomas. She was very inspired by her gardens, where she lived in Washington, D.C., and by all of the flowers that she saw blooming around the city. She created patterns out of these um, colors and out of some of the shapes that she saw. So for this project, you are going to need construction paper of different colors. You're going to need a glue stick um, and some scissors, or you can choose to rip the paper if you'd like. So you're going to begin by ripping up the paper that you have into small shreds. You can always get help with this, um, or if it's easier, you can cut the paper up into thin chunks and little rectangles. It helps to rip the paper in shreds first and then cut from there. And for this, we can use um, some flowers to get inspired by. So I'll use these same flowers again 
that I have here in my mom's garden. And I'm going to make an abstract representation. So So it doesn't have to look so much like a flower as it does a burst of color, which is in some ways what a flower is. So I'm going to start by making a circle of blue. And I'm going to try to fill up this whole circle with glue. Maybe I'll just do the outside for now, because this glue dries pretty fast. And I'm going to take all the colors that I see, and I'm going to place them in a pattern that I like. Just like Alma Thomas's paintings. And i got to work a little quick, because this glue is drying but I can always press them down later. And I don't have any orange paper, so I'm adding red and yellow because when they are mixed together, they make orange. Now I'm going to add a little bit more color in the center, and I think I'm going to add some blue and purple for the beautiful blue and purple flowers that are here. I'm going to put purple in the center, I'm just going to stick on as many as I can. And I can keep going. I can spread the glue into patterns um, other than a circle. I can make lots of different choices about how I want to continue um, looking at my flowers or just using my imagination. See